Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome everyone, this is Dom, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Realism. Today, we will be flying this interesting little plane that keeps on zooming in and out. Uh, I actually recorded this, uh, this segment without a voiceover initially, so this is a, a, a pre- or, no, sorry, post-recorded voiceover. Uh, so, we have Bill today in the cockpit. Uh, this is the Dart 1, or Dart 2, or Dart 7, depends on how many I've crashed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the uh, the first thing that I've rebuilt, or, or actually built, since I uh, came back on vacation. I've been on vacation for quite a while and haven't really played Kerbal Space Program since I left. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I remember this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was harsh. Yeah, so today we're flying this airplane uh, with kind of a swooped wing design or swept wing design uh, and a tail fin and plane that kind of represents or, or looks like uh, the Boeing 737 that I was in uh, when I went on vacation. Kind of helped with uh, designing this aircraft. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pitch over or move over and uh, we're gonna set up a, uh, a destination. We have like eight, or I think we're getting eight of these observation points today uh, for a contract, or actually two contracts or three contracts, not sure. Uh, but if you see on the map there, there's all these little red airplane things, uh, and that's what we're gonna go try to do. And we have to observe them at a certain height for a certain amount of time. So we have to fly to them, be at a certain height, uh, and then move to the next point. Uh, and weird zoomy issues, issues, uh, which I fixed today, actually. Okay, and we are going to jump over to four times speed, and ready. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for the rest of this video, it'll probably be more of a talky thing. Um, we're just going to be flying to various points, and then eventually we'll do the landing real time. Uh, so, what I've noticed, and what I did after messing around with this video, uh, is that we really needed money and science. And these contracts that we're doing today with all the observations and all that kind of stuff from fine print, uh, they offer a great source of money in science, uh, basically what we need immediately. Uh, so that's a, a big bonus. Ooh, cool. Doing spins. <sighs> so yeah, uh, I really, really worked, wanted to get this plane so that it could do a long distance, so that I could do more than one contract and then land back at the Kerbal Space Center. I didn't want to ditch the plane or uh, anything along those lines. Ugh. And then, uh, and then I uh, didn't want to spend too much money on fuel either, because I really wanted to make these, uh, what are these things called? These flights or these missions, uh, very beneficial. And I'll do a couple of these maybe off camera uh, in the future. Here we go, do another roll for fun. Uh, we'll get some really good shots of the plane uh, as we do this. Um, there we go, here's a good example, I think. Uh, here we are. It's, it's kind of a swoop swept wing design. I move the wings down off the center of the uh, fuselage. Uh, that was mostly for the wheels. <laughs> and uh, and then what I did is the tips, because they're a separate piece, uh, I kind of flicked them up a little bit uh, for a little bit more stability, it looks like. And it, and it flies really, really nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is that it's not fast, and it can't go very high. Uh, I did a couple tests and uh, I brought him as high as he could and he kind of plummeted to the ground. Uh, the only thing that I did add that I didn't try in that test were the, um, the, the air brakes. They're on the wings. I'm pretty sure you can see them, uh, especially whenever I turn the camera around. Uh, I'll be using them 
uh, later on in the video to land and to slow us down. Uh, if you're looking to build uh, a plane, I'd recommend uh, you don't watch any of my videos when trying to build a plane. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I didn't record it. Uh, it took me hours of testing and etc. to get this right. I don't know how to read the Ferrum Aerospace stuff. I don't know how to build a plane the right way or anything like that. So yeah, kind of not fun. Uh, you can see that I'm really, really going fast here. And that became an issue. Uh, so like, for example, I couldn't pitch up or anything and I would just wobble and wobble. And uh, so I ended up having to use the air brakes a little bit to slow us down. Uh, you'll see them flip up and down occasionally. And I did it a couple times. I did a little bit of messing up. Uh, the interior, I think, is from B9 or uh, what is the other one called? Uh, raster prop monitor. Uh, so that's, but that's kind of been ejected uh, and will be ejected from the series in the next video. Uh, I had some issues with it and I also have issues with tweak scale. So we might not be using that one uh, or, Inferno, or Infernal Robotics until that gets updated. So yeah, uh, my vacation was great and long and I do apologize for not uh, answering anybody's comments or anything along those lines. Uh, I was quite busy and uh, as soon as I could I just powered through all the comments and answered all the questions. And that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't use your suggestions in you know, su successive videos. Uh, mostly because I recorded, I think, four in a row. And then edited, rendered, and updated them all, or uploaded them all, all within a day. It was, it was kind of panic. Like, oh no, I, I didn't want to have a gap in videos. Uh, also, the, the channel's getting a little bit more popular, so I like to... Uh, welcome the new subscribers and new watchers or viewers or whatever you call them. Uh, we keep on floating between all these points. We've actually gotten two of them so far. If you look in the top right hand corner, there's two little checks. Uh, and I keep on changing my target. See, so look at these cool visuals. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the next goal for airplanes is to make a supersonic airplane that I can fly because I'm not good at it. Uh, I've tested a couple supersonic airplanes and I was not good at them. Uh, but doing all these flight maneuvers and all those kinds of things, it's really nice when you have the setup I do. Uh, I have a flight stick and that's what I use for all my Kerbal Space Program space program stuff. Tired. Uh, <laughs> and I also have a uh, steering wheel with pedals and I use the pedals for my yaw control as if I was like flying a plane. Uh, so I have flight stick and pedals. So I really don't touch the keyboard when flying an airplane or rockets or anything along those lines. Uh, so it gives it a much fluid, much more fluid motion to all of your corrections and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot easier to fly in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hit that point up there and I think there should be a jump cut as soon as we get to that point uh, to where we're doing the second set of flyovers. Uh, it was a very, very long distance in between the point that we're heading to now and the other four that we want to get next because now we only have three points and each one of those points was a certain amount of money and a certain amount of science, if I remember correctly a piece. So I wanted to hit as many of those as I could. I think it was 25 science per observation. Um, and I had a lot of fuel and I didn't feel like ditching the aircraft or leaving Bill stranded. So I wanted to bring him to all those points and then land him all within the same mission. And that's one of the reasons why there's so much fuel on this plane. Uh, and it has a lot of range. If you look on the left hand side in the FAR light stats window uh, near the bottom uh, it'll tell you your estimated range and uh, operation time or whatever it says there it's really small in the preview window <laughs> um, and it and it's in the order of like 60 hours or something like that and so many kilometers so that uh, this is a very efficient flight 
and we don't have to really worry about the amount of range we have on this plane. Uh, it is a subsonic operating plane. It doesn't like to go high and doesn't like to go fast. Uh, so it was a very grueling trip. Uh, you're actually probably only about 10 minutes into the video now. Uh, but at this point, I was already 40 minutes into flying. Uh, so this all mostly is sped up uh, four times. There we go. I just got that point, And I'm going to tip over. And we're going to head to uh, the next set of points over there. So I will see you, and I'll pick you up then. And welcome back again, of course. <laughs> um, I'm picking up where... Uh, I started recording again. I actually stopped the recording and started it again, and I forgot to capture the first uh, point, I guess, in uh, uh, this flight. Uh, so we're heading, it looks kind of southish, yes, to get the second point there, and uh, we just got it. Now we're going over to the third one. And uh, these missions are really easy, they're cheap. Um, the only thing that really is hard about them is designing the airplane uh, and getting it to be stable with ferrum aerospace and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was quite difficult. <laughs> um, and I noticed with um, some of the issues I was having with the B9 parts uh, were actually attributed to tweak scale. Uh, so I kept it in for this video, uh, but for future videos, I'm taking tweak scale out and then I had to downgrade some of the plugins and a bunch of mess to get things to work. Um, <laughs> uh, but for now, uh, the mod pack in the description is, is what it's supposed to be. Not really many additions or subtractions. Uh, anyways, uh, the engines on the plane itself are from uh, Carbonite. Not Carbonite. Yes, Carbonite. <laughs> uh, they're great engines, uh, and these are the liquid fueled versions like the the standard ones and I think that was the very last point uh, so we are going to head back to Kerbal Space Center and try to land and as you can see we are on an approach to Kerbal Space Center and uh, that little peninsula thingy or whatever you want to call it it's coming into view there uh, we're going to try to do an ocean approach. Uh, you're going to actually see how, I don't know, fidgety uh, the plane is. I've actually gotten pretty decent at flying this model uh, at this point in time because I've already been playing and flying for over an hour with just this plane. Um, mostly in straight lines, of course. Um, and this is actually the first time I tried to land it, and it got it... <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> um, but something that really freaked me out is um, the sound effects. Uh, apparently, B9 Aerospace has sound effects for all the parts they've added. So, for example, the wheels and all that kind of stuff. We're going to see that really soon. Uh, I like to do a chase view whenever I'm trying to uh, land. Yeah, so we're going to approach from the water. And here's me trying to, do, uh, trying to get on track, I guess. Uh, it's either that or showing off. It was yesterday. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> uh, we're trying to... Ooh, no, this is definitely not me. <laughs> uh, trying to show off. Uh, I really had to fight this aircraft for quite a while. Uh, there's flight assists with uh, Ferrum Airspace, and there's also... Uh, I have the SAS on, so it's not flailing all over the place. Uh, I'd recommend you turn on those buttons that you see in Ferrum Aerospace. Uh, keeps your angle of attack and your level and all that kind of stuff, like basically right on the money. It's really nice. Um, and here we go. We're going to open up our flaps and hopefully extend the gear, I forget. Uh, but you're going to hear the gear go down. And I just did it. And I probably talked over it. And then the flaps should be out. Uh, and they're on the wings. Here comes our descent. And I feel like I'm going way too fast in this video. Holy mackerel. Okay. Mm, Bill, cross your fingers. Oh, yes. Yeah, you hear those sound effects? Oh, that was so cool. Uh, and that's just me holding the brakes button. And we made it. And that's going to be it. 
today we got a lot of science. Uh, we also uh, got a lot of money uh, that we can use to uh, spend while I unlock those nodes. Uh, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.